Today is the last day of Purim, the Jewish holiday celebration of faith, survival, and overcoming adversity and being true to oneself. Yeah, here in the Valley, an 84-year-old Holocaust survivor has a wish for his community as he remembers the horrors that eventually brought him to America. Fox News' Regina Ahn spoke to that man and has more on his story. Yeah, Jacqueline and John, I'm here at the Israeli-American Council in Summerlin. It's one of many locations that are spread across all over the country. And really, this location and this uh, organization is here to give community education and really bring Jewish and Israeli people together, especially during a time where we are seeing a little bit more of, of anti-Semitism um, around the area. So this is just a month shy of Holocaust Remembrance Day. And I got a chance to talk with a Holocaust survivor. Joseph Shalov is a Holocaust survivor from Lithuania. His family was able to hide for five years in the sewer system there to escape the Nazis. He explains that the importance of education and understanding the past is the only way racism of any kind will be erased. According to the IAC here, a nonprofit organization, they offer resources to Jewish and Israeli people. They see about 10,000 Israelis are estimated to live here in Nevada and it's important to offer community for those who may be experiencing hate. Shalov explains one of the saddest moments from his past. After we were saved at that time by the Russians that they came to Vilnius and kicked the Nazis out, uh, the thing that was really painful is that the Polish guy who really saved our lives and in a way he could have been killed himself because of saving us, begged us not to tell anybody on his friends that he saved us because that would be very bad toward him that he saved Jewish people. Shalev, again, is 84 years old and still remembers those moments just like yesterday. He says anti-Semitism is still present in today, and the best way to combat it again is through education and learning from our past. Again, IAC has different programs uh, and projects available for those in the area. If you'd like to know more, you can visit their website at lviac.com. For now, live here in Summerlin, I'm Regina on Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Certainly remembering our past is making sure we never repeat it again. Thank you so much, Regina.